Are viruses alive? To even begin to answer that question, let's first dive into what a virus is. The basic structure of a virus is composed of genetic material, either DNA or RNA, and either single or double-stranded, and a protective protein coat called a capsid wrapped around it. Viruses, unlike all cells and organisms, have no ribosomes and no metabolism. This means they cannot reproduce on their own and are fully dependent on reaching a living host. Once a virus enters a cell, its only goal is to replicate. It can do this using two methods, the lytic cycle or the lysogenic cycle. Both cycles begin when the virus attaches to a cell's receptor. By the way, viruses are super picky about their host because of this, and it's not just a phage. The virus then injects its genetic information inside, or if it has a membrane, tricks the host into eating it or fuses with the host. In the lytic cycle, the virus would steal the cell's ribosomes to create the proteins needed for its capsid and replicate its genetic information, ultimately assembling the clones of itself together. A virus would do this so many times that the amount of viruses assembled would crowd together and lyse or burst the host cell. In the lysogenic cycle, the virus's injected genetic material would become a prophage and merge with the host's genome. The host would carry on with its normal life, replicating and whatnot, until it meets an environmental signal such as UV radiation. The repressor gene that was on the genetic info to keep it quiet is weakened and the cell switches cycles. This means the replicated viruses spring out like in the lytic cycle and lyse the cell. In 2008, we discovered the existence of the first Sputnik virophage, a virus that infects other viruses. How do you like getting a taste of your own medicine, hmm? These virophages infect these big giant viruses, such as Mimi viruses or Pandora viruses. And these are huge, at least compared to all things microscopic, but still. You might be thinking, how can a virus infect another virus? Well, giant viruses may have a larger genome, but they still lack ribosomes. Well, like what we talked about earlier, viruses, all viruses need a host. When a giant virus, let's say a Mimi virus, infects an amoeba to replicate, the virophage takes its chance and infects it by releasing genetic material into the Mimi virus and the amoeba. The amoeba is manipulated into using the virophage's genetic info, replicating it and turning it into a factory churning out virophages instead of Mimi viruses. What do you think? Are viruses alive? Are they not? This breakthrough reveals both new information to be tossed around on that long-standing debate, as well as enormous potential in the fields of medicine and virology. Who knows, maybe one day we will be the ones controlling the virus, infecting a virus, infecting a host, and destroy viruses from inside out.